Happy Septandy! I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. Today, I feel like playing with my Color Computer 1. I had planned on doing some videos upgrading a Color Computer 1 after I finished doing the repair and upgrade of that Color Computer 3 that I picked up at Coco Fest. Well, I've been filming videos for that, but I've run into some technical issues. So I've decided to go ahead with the Color Computer 1 upgrades a little bit early, just so I could slip this in at the end of Septandi. The first thing I'm going to do on the Color Computer 1 is an absolutely simple, simple upgrade. One that I think everybody should do. And it takes very, very little skill, which means it's perfect for me. So let's uh, go over to the Color Computer 1 and take a look at what I'm going to be doing. But before we look at that, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay, home of 10 PCB boards printed for as little as $5. Looking for another reason to try PCBWay? Well, right now, you can enter their fifth PCB design contest for your chance to win. You can submit your project under one of three themes. They are next generation hardware, earth friendly projects, and don't worry if your project does not fit into either of these themes because the third is a free theme covering everything else. See the PCB Way website for prizes and rules. The project must be submitted between September 1st and December 31st, 2022. What I have here is my Coco one that you may recognize as the one that's had some upgrades done to it already. They were done when I bought it. It's got an LED here for telling when the power is on. And around on the side here, it's got an extra power switch as well as an extra reset button. So if you had it inside of something, you didn't have to reach around the back to do stuff. What I'm going to be doing today is quite simply just taking out the 6809 and putting in a 6309. This is very easy and uh, we'll take a look at this just to see why it's very easy. I've already taken the screws out of here just to save time. So, it is open and ready to be worked on. Now, the reason that this is so easy to work on is because, um, you may be able to tell, most of these chips are socketed. So, this Coco 1 and uh, most Coco 2s are before the cost-cutting measure, of soldering the chips directly to the board, which makes them absolutely a dream to do these little upgrades on. Now, this is the 6809, which we will be taking out to put in the 6309. I'll just be using a little pry bar here. Just gotta stick it in between the um, chip and the socket and just give it a little bit of turns and move it up and there we go so there we go 6809 is out of course at retro rewind very nicely they do include a socket because of I do believe probably most people that are doing this are going to be upgrading a Coco 3 which, uh, never seen one of those that are socketed, so. All right, well, since I have the 6309 out, a little contact cleaner. Oops. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. And you can see on the design here that the uh, little 
notches to that side. So, let's see what size here. Has, okay, the butt, the dot is there. So, goes in this way. Line up all the pins. There we go. And it is as simple as that to upgrade the Coco One to a 6309. Now, why did I upgrade this to a 6309, you may ask? Well, let's go hook this up and take a look. I have my 6309 computer hooked up to the cable box into a little capture device so that I can capture the screen on here. Unfortunately, I'm still running RF on this for now. So we turn it on. There you go. The uh, Coco SDC is working just fine. Now, I guess you're kind of wondering why did I put a 6309 in this computer? Well, when I put the uh, 6309 into my Coco 3, there was a question proposed in the comments by a few people about whether it was worth it to do with a Coco 1 or 2. Well, I have to say absolutely worth it because A, it is so simple as most Coco 1s and here's my multi board keyboard, uh, multi keyboard Coco 2, they're all socketed. This was before Tandy decided to uh, go cheap with soldering directly onto the board. So it's simple to do. And when you do do it, the 6309 uses a lot less power and it runs a lot cooler than the 6809. So the big advantage there is it's easier on your computer. And then there's games. There are some games that have 6309 uh, optimization. Like for instance, on the screen right now is Russian Assault. Let's just switch over to that screen and I will show you exactly why the 6309 is so much better. So here we are going to try out the original version of Russian Assault. I'm not going to worry about the proper color here. I'm just going to play the game. So I do not. Okay. Now, if you're wondering how I'm capturing this off of RF, I did do a video about this. I'll link to that using this old cable box that I have. So we're in a blueberry world with a blood sea. So you can see, I mean, this is the game as it originally came out. A little bit uh, slow to play. And now we will look at the 6309 optimized version just to see if you can see any difference. I do plan on uh, eventually getting the 6309s in just about all of the computers that I can. And this is the proper color mode, very red. There you go. But you can see how much faster the guy is moving, how much more maneuverable everything is. Just works so much better. So yeah, you can be see a big difference. And I mean, there's not a lot of games out there right now that are optimized for 6309, but there's some. And just to look at it a little bit closer, here they are playing side by side with the 6309 on the left and the 6809 on the right. The 6309 is very simply into my Coco One. That is an upgrade that anybody can do with almost no technical skill. And I cannot stress enough how much better it is for these old computers to have that lower power consumption and running cooler. So 
yeah, if you have an old Coco 1 or an old Coco 2, get your hands on a 6309, put it in there, because it's well worth it, just for the life of your computer, if not for the games. In the next video in this series, what I'm going to be doing is putting a drive wireless board into this computer. Wondering what that is? Well, you'll just have to watch the video and find out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. Happy Septandi, and I will see you next time.